Good evening and thanks for being with us tonight. I'm Dan Jovic. And I'm Jackie Jovic. The Bossier Parish Coroner's Office identifies the teen who drowned after a boating accident at Lake Bistineau yesterday. It is tonight's top story. NBC 6's Jaleesha Gatewood joining us now live outside of Calvary Baptist Academy where the young man was a student. Jaleesha. Good evening, Dan and Jackie. 15-year-old Hayden Lane Mangum was a sophomore here at Calvary. After searching all night, Bossier deputies recovered his body from Lake Bisno this morning. The Sheriff's Department says Hayden Lane Mangum was fishing with his friend Cade Bedgood Tuesday afternoon when their boat overturned. Bedgood was able to call for help and was rescued. Mangum's body was later recovered at the Lake Bisno spillway near the Highway 154 bridge. So the next step for us is we'll go back and we'll reconstruct everything, see what exactly happened, uh, get statements from the uh, other uh, passenger in the boat and work through that uh, and then come to a conclusion of you know, what happened. Both boys attend Calvary Baptist Academy. Mangum was a sophomore and a beloved baseball and football player. Calvary Athletics released a tweet saying in part, we continue to pray for Lane, the Mangum family, and all of his friends, and the Calvary family. We ask you all to do the same. These were best friends. These were athletes, fishermen, loved doing things together. First responders, neighbors, family, and friends showed up Tuesday to help find Mangum. The good part about this, the only good part is that this did not prolong able to make the recovery whole first responders did an amazing job um, but as good as our job is there were many family members and friends standing on that pier side wanting answers waiting they got one of those answers this morning but it's never easy now calvary baptist church is having their annual student service at 6 30 and i'm sure tonight's presence will be bigger for those mourning the loss of mangum now tomorrow they will have a prayer vigil at calvary's football field at 8 a.m reporting live at calvary baptist academy alicia gatewood nbc6 news yeah we're certainly praying for all of them thank you very much alicia